Hello and welcome to this new Hostify video. My name is Alex and today we're going to be looking at connecting a Airmax CPE to an Airmax AP. So in a video last week that we published we covered connecting an Airmax AC a CPE to an Airmax AC AP using a desktop browser. We're now going to cover the process using an iPhone and an Android phone. Uh, just before we get started the process is a lot simpler on the Android phone um, but we've got a screen recording of both that will show you how to do both. So. We'll just get started and go over the process. So, so what we've got here, very similar to the, the last video, we've got a Powerbeam AC Gen 2 connecting to a Nano Station AC here. These uh, these IP addresses and this SSID and password. This AP is already set up. We will have a video coming at some stage that will show you how to set up an AP, both with the phone and the desktop version. But for the purpose of this video, this is just getting a CPE connected to an AP. Uh, we've got a PO injector powering up the radio, and there's nothing plugged into the LAN port at the moment. Um, we just got the, the the phone connecting to the Wi-Fi of the Powerbeam. So we'll get started and show how to do that now. So we're going to open up the UISP app on our Android device. You can see immediately it's already found the Powerbeam AC, its management uh, Wi-Fi chip. So we're going to click on that now. It's going to connect to the Powerbeam. It's going to ask us if we want to connect to the temporary Wi-Fi network. It's going to connect to the device. It's now connecting to the Powerbeam. And you can see you've got the dashboard screen open, and I've sped things up a little bit to, while it scans through the frequencies. So our access points on 5800. So to get this connected to the AP, we need to click on the Wi-Fi symbol in blue, and then the Powerbeam will run a spectrum scan locally. So it does a site survey, it finds some Wi-Fi devices in my house, and also it finds the Hostify test Powerbeam as well. Get some details about the AP, the password level, the frequency as well, hit connect, and then we can put our password in as well. So this is the password that is set on the access point itself. So in this case, by our diagram, it's hostify password with a capital P. So we enter that in now. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is that the channel width is on auto, or auto 2040, and also that the two buttons at the top says access point and P2P mode, at both those are off if we're connected to an AP that's got more than one client or it's been set up in just AP mode. So for this, we'll leave this in uh, bridge mode. So that there's some other options. You've got DHCP, static, and PPPoE for the WAN type or the IP type of the, the radio. So you've got bridge mode. Uh, we're going to leave the radio on DHCP for the uh, IP address. You can also set a management VLAN. So to get that connected, that's all we need to do. We just need to uh, press yes on that, and that's just put the SSID and password in, and it will connect. Again, sped it up because it takes a long time. And done. So the next job is to do is to align the power beam to our access point before we change any, any IP settings. So you've got the dashboard where it's got the signal level of minus 58, and there's an antenna alignment option which will up the refresh rate quite fast. And you've got the signal level, so I'm just going to move the power beam around. Uh, around, it's just in the uh, in my office here. And you can see it's it's just go straight to neg 40 minus 40 dBm as I move it closer and closer. So, and also you've got the local signal and remote signal options as well. Uh, both those are very important for a stable connection. So there's not much throughput because it's not connected to anything at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of information on the app, and you can get a, a power beam link or any nano station AC or nano beam AC up and running pretty fast. There's also some options for firmware upgrade which is really important. So I've downloaded a 8.7.11 um, and you can upgrade that and it'll take a little while. This took about five minutes. Uh, this is sped up immensely um, but it took a long time to up upgrade. So the radio has to reboot and so it's connecting to the device. Once it's sort of disconnects the phone, then it will ask you, "Do you want to connect again?" So you have to press connect. Again, connecting again. And you got the dashboard. So it's picked up an IP address one seven two eighteen thirty eight. That's from my DHCP server for this VLAN test I've got. On the iPhone now, you have to jump to the Wi-Fi settings for uh, the phone, find the Powerbeam Wi-Fi network that's broadcasting, connect to that, and then you need to jump to the UISP app, and then it won't discover anything by default, so you've got to click the plus button, and then it will log in with the default details, and that's quite an important step, which we'll get to at the end of the video. 
So you want to do manual setup for this. Pick the country. And then in the configuration tab. So same sort of thing as the Android. Um, the first thing you'll do is turn off the point to point mode. That's on by default. And then you can press select. It'll do a site survey. It'll find all the Wi-Fi networks in your area. And then the bottom one I've got is the Hostify Test Nano Station. So I put the password in now. Yeah, definitely make sure that the P2P mode is off by default. You'll have problems otherwise. Uh, the also the thing to do is if you're getting this connected up just to tune it in before you set the IP settings, make sure this is on static. Uh, I've, I've tried multiple times while making this video to get it to work properly with DHCP. Uh, you need to be on static IP to get the phone to connect again once it's connected to the AP. Once you've got everything tuned in, you're happy, then you can configure the IP settings uh, for your network that you need. That's my advice. So yeah, it's connected to the AP. Got a good signal level. And again, we got the same alignment tuner uh, assistant that we got on the Android uh, device as well. Same, same, pretty much the same thing really. Just the process is a bit is a bit different. So we've got the remote signals, network mode again, all the same stuff. So that's how we get the Powerbeam AC connected to a nano station AC. This can be brought across any Air Max AC that Ubiquiti makes, as long as it's got the Wi-Fi chip or the Bluetooth chip, and you can use a mobile device to connect it to an AP. As you saw in the video, the process for the iPhone is a little bit convoluted compared to the Android device. So the the device will, so the Air Max device will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal. You can connect to that and then get the connected to the uh, AP. I did notice a few issues while setting it up. So the on the Android device it will find it without having to leave the OISP app. You can press connect and log in straight away. I noticed also on the Android Android app for UISP that if you have the Air Max device set to DHCP, that once it picks up an IP, the Power Beam will also, will also give you a, a management IP lease so you can maintain a connection to do that. On the iPhone, that doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Um, so what you have to do is make sure that, your, that the IP you're logged in on, which is 192.168.1.20, is statically assigned to the device before you change anything else. So if you need to use the mobile app to retune or realign the dish and make sure you've got the signal level still, I would personally just change the IP settings once you've um, once you've got everything lined up and you're happy with it because you'll just be locked out and it'll be a bit of a pain to log back in again. So yeah, the Android app's a bit a bit more user friendly in that in that sense. Also, the firmware upgrade process is a lot easier on the Android device as well. Uh, the iPhone app, it has some problems downloading some of the firmware. I'm not sure what the problem is there, but yeah, so that's hopefully that's been a helpful look at how to set up a, a, a nano station AC and a power beam AC and get them connected together. Um, if you need any more information about Hostify, look at hostify.com. You can contact the team at support at hostify.com and you can find us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>